Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's September 14, the 257th day of 2011, which means it's the 8th ever Question Quins Day. Tired of the humdrum style of these videos? Well, thankfully, I take one Wednesday out of every month and make it a Question Quins Day, where I answer your questions. About three quarters of the way through this video, you'll realize that the vast majority of your fellow butt kickers stink at coming up with questions. And then you'll realize that while unchanging and monotonous, the regular video making style is preferable. This newly acquired appreciation for these videos will last for about a month when the cycle begins again with yet another Question Quins Day. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. When did you start playing trumpet? I started playing the trumpet in 8th grade, but I started blowing fat wads of noxious noise through a trumpet in 6th grade. Favorite YouTuber? Well, there's my friends, like OwenSpec33 and Darkminded Sith, and then there are the LPers that got me into YouTube in the first place, like X the Music and Dern77. And then there are the truly great YouTubers that I'm continuing to discover, like Wheezy Waiter and Gem Llama. So, long story short, I just can't pick one. What are your cheesiest pickup lines? Hey, baby Swiss, I don't mean to be a moonster, but you're looking gouda tonight. Harry Pratchett or J.K. Rowling? J.K. Rowling. Name one thing you wish was never invented. The Kid Leash. What's your favorite man-made invention? As opposed to alien-made? Well, in that case, it's the book. I love to read, and I really wouldn't like to lug around giant slabs of stone. Is there a limit to how many outros you can send? No, absolutely not. If you have another idea for an outro or would just like to send me another one, send your outro to itstheprogram at gmail.com or post it to YouTube and send me the link. Are you religious? Yes. Popcorn or popcorn chicken? For a snack, the former. For a meal, the latter. Are you dressing up for Halloween this year? If so, as what? No, I'm not, but if I were to, I'd probably be something easy. Like me, with perfect eyesight. Or me, if I sustained an injury from pretending to have perfect eyesight. Where'd my computer go? Ugh. You're gonna get a 3DS now with all the games coming out for it? Way ahead of you, pal. Man, this 3D is amazing. <laughs> Where'd my computer go? Look in the reflection on the front of this thing. Now it's like two episodes of It's the Program for the price of one. Except one of them is a mirror image of the other. How long does a person have to be dumb to realize that they're dumb? I think if you realize that you're dumb, your self-awareness instantly means that you're really not that dumb. I think true dumbness is being so dumb that you don't know that you're dumb. How does a human literally become one with nature? Easy. All you have to do is procreate with a tree, wait nine months, and then get a druid midwife to help with the birthing process. And there you have it. A tree-human hybrid baby. Never change its diaper, by the way. Manure is good for it. How many Question Quins Days are there going to be? Still to come? Three. Total? Eleven. How many year years old is 2011? Fifty-seven, which means she's experiencing severe menopausal symptoms and is finally resigned to the fact that she will never be attractive again. And I still love you, Rosalina. I always will. Who will be the Master of Ceremonies for 2012? Probably Don Draper, but I'm not sure yet. Wait, can I be the Master of Ceremonies for 2012? Oh, I'm sorry, do you systematically cheat on your hot wife with every female that passes your line of sight, and do you smoke and drink heavily, and do you wax poetic about advertising life and love? In short, are you as awesome as Don Draper? Because if so, yeah, you could be. Hopelessly typical and hugely unfunny nonsense question? I'm ignoring you. Equally typical and dismayingly overdone self-aware question? I'm ignoring you, too. Why are you one of those nerds in the marching band when you could be one of those guys playing football? Different things appeal to different people. Some people like to provide an audience with aural and visual stimuli, and some people like to manhandle other people and slap each other on the butt. And if choosing the former makes me a nerd, then I'll wear the moniker proudly. If you were a baker, what would you name your bakery? Confessionary Confectionary. Bear your wrongdoings and shortcomings to me in exchange for sugary dough balls of forgiveness. Did Other Griff take a break? We haven't seen him in a while. What happened? Well, geez, guys, you just can't expect me to pop in and do a perverted one-liner every day, can you? I mean, I've got things to do, places to go, girls to tie up, roadkill to eat, restraining orders to violate. I can't be here all the time. Maybe next question, Quinn's Day, will be an Ask Other Griff special. Just a thought. And a scary one at that. Anyway, until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking. Thanks for all the questions.